Today, I'm returning to Colorado so I can see if South Park the Fractured Butt Hole is really as controversial as everyone says it is. And to do that, I'll be unlocking every achievement in the game. Choose difficulty. Okay, so we have to play the game. Don't worry, this doesn't affect combat. Just every other aspect of your whole life. <laughs> okay, so this does not affect combat, he says. But there is an achievement where you have to play with black skin on the hardest difficulty. So we have to do it. We will be this character. This is us. When I was last in South Park, I had saved ancient Zaron and recovered the Stick of Truth. But since that fateful day, the people of Zaron have fallen back into their old ways. And the cycle of conflict has begun again. The people in the city beg for their king to fight alongside them. But before I can come and save the day, I had to take a fat dump and earn my first achievement. Was that it? That's our first achievement, potty trained. Use a toilet and achieve the highest mastery level. Dude, I can tell you right now, I'm a goddamn poop master, okay? Catch me near the stalls and you'll see what I mean. Whew. Feeling 10 pounds lighter, I went to the front door where Kyle tells me that Koopa Keep is being taken by the enemy. I didn't save the world to watch a bunch of scum take my castle, so I ran into the street and entered my first battle. I am by no means a turn-based gamer, but the combat in this game is actually pretty good. You get a selection of abilities to use, and each of those abilities have a tile pattern for how it deals damage. I'll show you how crazy these can get in a bit, but first, I got an achievement for killing an enemy by knocking them into another enemy. I think there's actually an achievement I can get here if I punch this guy who looks like he's out of Mad Max into that other guy that looks like he's out of Mad Max I think I get an achievement if I kill the guy in the back I think I killed him with a knock there we go I got it okay big knocker <laughs> <laughs> Killed an enemy by knocking another enemy into them. W. Okay. My combat ability didn't stop at beating children with other children. I was also conjuring godly hammers to slay mighty cardboard dragons. I was an absolute menace. With the dragon slayed, I made my way to Koopa Keep so I could rescue the bard. It was at this moment I learned we're not going to be playing nerds and wizards anymore. There is a threat in the future and I need to join the... Uh in saving the cats of the future from a new crime syndicate that moved into town. In order to embark on this quest, I need to join the most prestigious, and arguably most racist sounding, group in South Park, the Coon and Friends. And if I want to join the Coon and his friends, I need to be a superhero, which means I need a backstory and a set of powers. You have to have a superhero persona. Then you can fill out your character sheet on Coonstagram. Do you have a Coonstagram page? No. Nope. Ooh, I do like range. That sounds kind of dope, no? Blaster. You see, douche, all superheroes have a compelling backstory. backstory <laughs> I've never heard someone use that as like a first name Let's type thing. First name child. douche, last name bag. With my powers selected, it was time I witnessed the event that ultimately created the Mo Blaster. My house had been invaded, and even though my powers were in their infancy, I was able to deal with the intruders with ease. I ran to my parents' room to make sure they were safe, and then... When you opened that door, you saw... You saw your dad. Fuck your man. Wow. You fight crime because you never forgot the night you weren't in time. And you saw your own father, the man you trusted, fuck your mom. Now that I'm officially a superhero, I needed to begin acting like one by earning some achievements. And we all know that a real superhero has millions of fans to show off for. So I needed to start by getting a few of my own. From now on, call on me whenever you need help. All I care about, Human Kite, is that we are friends. Okay, yeah. And we take selfies together to show people that we are friends. I need the clout, brother. I need the clout. Thank you. My boy. Achievement unlocked. Hashtag follow back. Became mutual followers with 10 people in South Park. Dude, follow for a follow. Let's go. This is 2008 YouTube. The other crucial part of being a superhero is being stylish for the photo shoots. So I completed a demonic ritual and scooped up some gothic attire to get the achievement for 10 costume pieces. So I think actually with that unlocked, I think I can actually get an achievement for wearing things of three different types. So if I put on an arcane suit, I'm gonna keep this one on, and then the C cup headwear. There we go, okay, we got it. Cosplay curious. Wore a costume piece from three different sets at once. Dude. This makes me think of Little Nicky. If you've ever seen that Adam Sandler movie, this is the guy with the boob head who wears a bra. 
That's me now. Now that I was as popular as a superhero can be, and as stylish as one, it was time I acted like one. I picked up my 100th contaminated item while I was cleaning up my city, and for my effort, I earned an achievement. Now that I was a fully-fledged Horlock, I went to the church looking for clues that would help me track down the crime syndicate. I thought if I came here with boobs on my head, Father Mo and Father Lest wouldn't take me to the Goontonement room. I couldn't have been more wrong. Thankfully, the priest didn't stand a chance against me. Sure, it was traumatic, but I managed to defeat them both without having to enter a confessional. The head priest tried to pay me off with a macaroni picture that summoned Moses, and he's lucky I'm eight because it worked. Okay, so Father Moses just gave us the crafting recipe for the macaroni picture, and I'm actually gonna make one because this will give us an achievement. For getting Moses a little picture, he'll come down and save us. And there's our achievement. Pasta of Prophets. Crafted a macaroni picture for Moses. Having already started my superhero journey, I needed to continue to develop out my character sheet so I can have a full-on super identity. This is when I went to the school and spoke to the guidance counselor, Mr. Mackey, okay, and he made me decide on a gender. I told him I was going to pick being a cis male so I can get the social buffs that come with being a part of the cis class. I immediately regretted my choice when I went outside and got confronted by some model citizens. Well, 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 if it ain't a cisgendered boy. We don't take kindly to your types around here. Let's welcome this thing to our town. This is a perfect opportunity to get the Death Dodger achievement, which means I need to heal a party member for twice their max health and then win the fight. So we want Fast Pass to go here and then end his turn. Go down, new kid. So same thing like this. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to let the redneck beat the hell out of Jimmy. And I'm just going to heal him. Okay, 36. I have not been paying attention to how much damage he's done. But he's... I've healed him twice. Now it's time to just finish it. I think we're good. We'll find out if we're not. Oh my God, look at him go. There we go. Did it work? There we go, Death Dodger. That's the one, I believe. Kept an ally alive for an entire combat where they took twice their max health damage. Thank you, Fast Pass. Go back to the bench, buddy. You've earned it. You've earned it. And I've earned an achievement. With no new leads on the criminals, it was time I went back to the Coons Lair so I could pick a second class and get some new powers. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, Your character sucks to be honest and i think i'm gonna let you do a class oh this is so cool okay okay we'll go psychic here because i feel like this is a cool class i like the idea of being professor x now we're gonna need to change your backstory too so let's go back again to that fateful night back when you were little is this the same night when my so parents bone i do like this this power it's pretty cool hey, hey what do you think you're doing oh he's gonna kill his own dude oh that's dope what? Master Manipulator. Confused or charmed an enemy into defeating another enemy. Baller. That's all I can say. Baller. I like that. And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe. And then that's when the unthinkable happened. Just when I saw my parents' bone? Dad. Fuck your mom. Okay, dude. Damn it. That's heavy, man. How could I let my dad do this? Well, Dazzling Flash is great. Take two turns, beat the hell out of people, heal everyone. I think that's a fine setup. I'm not the main damage dealer in this instance. I'm a support character. Supporting my friends, I guess. What is this? Class Warfare. Equip powers from two different classes. Okay, the natural progression stuff. With two classes activated, I had to waddle as fast as I could to the center of town. The Kunin friends were in a Crisis on Infinite Earth level face-off with those bastards, the Freedom Pals. But I can't say it didn't make me laugh. Mysterion. Must listen to me. <laughs> right now, I'm to oh my time. god, bro, there's no way. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. <laughs> Dude, Professor Dents. He just called us douchebags in my mind. He did? Alright, you son of a bitch. The Freedom Pals are a tough group to fight, but when you bring in my confusion powers to make them fight one another, and Fast Pass's insane healing and displacement powers, you end up with the inferior group of heroes getting their asses kicked. Even though I managed to defeat the chump level heroes in the Freedom Pals, the main target was Timmy, but he got away. Thankfully, the coon managed to steal his cell phone so we could try to get a new lead. After examining Timmy's phone under a microscope, we learned that there was a girl with a dick tattoo who knew all about the crime in the city, and we were going to try to to sneak out at night and hunt her down. But first, Cartman exposed my tragic backstory to the rest of the team. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. Cartman, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes, my dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom. Stop, and stop. This is not what's important. 
right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Oh yeah, my god, so Cartman's such an idiot. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, <laughs> calm down. Going into the first night, I was ready to hunt down some info on this mysterious girl. I first unlocked another combat buddy, Captain Diabetes, and with his help, I solved the case of the mysterious car keyer, which turned out just to be drunk Randy keying his own car. Now it turns out the girl we're looking for can be found in the local strip club. And I don't really want to say what happened when I snuck into the strip club, but let's just say I really don't want to go back. Even with our newfound trauma, we chased the mysterious girl out the back of the club and into the restaurant next door. This is when a tragic accident happened and Mr. Spaguchi gets KO'd. Using my magical time fart powers, I'm able to revive Spaguchi and get access to the restaurant. And speaking of magical time farts, I'll eventually have to unlock all of them for an achievement. But for now, I only have the one. Now that I'm in the restaurant, I can earn a few more achievements. Okay, so we're about to go for three achievements here. And the first one, we have to use our time fart to kill somebody with a status effect. That's what we got to do. So what I need to do is this guy that I just lit on fire, I need to wait till it's his turn, make him skip his turn, and then I'm going to let him die to the fire. And that should get me an achievement. So this is telling me I can use the time fart to do it. Now, I'm not going to use it on his turn. Okay, so he's at 21 health. So I'm going to have to hit him one more time. I don't think he'll die. So I'm going to hit him here and drop him down to like one HP. Okay, that guy has one health. Okay, so here we go. I've time farted. He died. Okay, that should be the achievement. There we go. We got it. Glitch of death. Use time fire to kill an enemy with a status effect. Nice. Okay. That's one of the achievements we wanted to get. So the next achievement that I'm going to get is I'm going to use a summon. Summon Moses to heal all allies. Okay. So if I use this macaroni drawing that we made earlier, I should be able to heal everyone and get the achievement all at once. Oh, there we go. Okay. Call in a favor. What is this? Let all debts be forgiven and all slaves free. What is going on? I've been healed by Techno Moses. W. Okay. There's an achievement to win a fight where your entire squad needs to be dead. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip everyone's turns and wait to clean it up once this guy's dead. I promise this sacrifice is necessary, gentlemen. You must believe me. Take this guy's mallet with pride. All right. I will avenge you guys. I will avenge you. There we go. Down with the grown-ups! Achievement unlocked. Last kid standing. Want to combat while three allies are down. Perfect. Dude, that chef, man, that guy healed for an infinity amount of damage. Thank God we got through that. With the chefs defeated, I was able to go into the back of the restaurant where a bunch of cats were being kept locked away. Neither the girl or scrambles were here, so I continued through the back rooms looking for clues. And it turns out, I ended up finding the girl as well as the backup cast from The Sopranos. They were planning on cutting my eight-year-old life short, but that's when an abuse if drunk man broke through the door and saved the day. At least, that's what I would have said if he didn't turn into an absolute monster and try to kill me and my superhero friends over some keys. Thankfully, Randy is an uncoordinated drunk, and as a team, we were able to take him down. Even though this felt like a win, I learned that the Italian Mafia was working with Detective Harrison Yates, and they were putting cat secretions in the drugs and alcohol of all the people in South Park to create more crime. Which makes complete sense, since I'd be feeling like doing some crime if someone made me drink cat piss. Anyway, that concludes the first night in South Park. And although it didn't pop, I did earn an achievement for completing it. At the dawn of day two, I had a few things to take care of. First, I spent time defeating the boss monster, Sheila Broflovsky, and her little twerp. Then I got acquainted with the call girl and her social media storm abilities. And I even earned three achievements related to crafting. The Doom Gloves. Achievement unlocked? Junksmith? Cra oh, craft 10 distinct recipes. Okay, so I should be able to craft all of these things, I think. One... Epic Artificer. Oh, that's what might is. That value there. I'm actually dumb. I didn't even know what that was. Okay. Well, that makes sense why we got that then. Craft. Ooh, we're ranked up to level 12 crafter. Sweet. Achievement unlocked? Titleist. Reach the highest rank on one tile in your character sheet. Uh, what did I do? Oh, for crafting. I guess it was this can't even see what it was doesn't matter though because i did it i'm a master now in an attempt to get closer to the monsters that are causing all the problems in town i agreed to help the police officers doing this allowed me to earn achievements for pausing time during an enemy's turn and then defeating them before they even get a chance to move things were starting to heat up in the town and i knew i was getting closer to figuring out what the hell was going on in south park that's when me and my friends were attacked by them freedom pals again and our franchises collide in a totally epic not ripped off battle called Civil War II. But this time, Dr. Dumothy was present, and he summoned little goblins to help them win the fight. This wasn't going to stop me from maxing out some stats for an achievement, though. Beat him up. Shut up, Mysterion. 
brother. What is this? Achievement unlocked. Character sheet elite? Earn the highest rank on five character sheet tiles. Okay, I wasn't going for that, but... I handled that goddamn microaggression. Microaggression police. Okay, I think this is the last guy I have to beat. Bro, this this guy is so... You know what? You don't need a turn. Stop it. Turn it off. Bring him over to me. Oh, I think I literally just sat on him and crushed him. Oh, thank God. Dude, that Timmy guy is so goddamn annoying to fight with all the little kids. Holy smoke. I mastered my microaggressions. We beat up this goddamn loser franchise. You guys are nothing I don't even remember what they're called. The Freedom Friends? Get out of here, bud. Yeah, right. You guys are DC Comics. We're Marvel. Hey, let's go. They are, I'll be honest with you, they are a little cooler than my team. I got Mosquito Boy and Diabetes Hulk. Not as cool. After maxing out my microaggression stat in that fight, PC Principal asked to see me in the brewery so I could tell him that I am, in fact, a black American who really wants to earn an achievement at the end of the game. After reaffirming my racial choices with PC Principal, I needed to hunt down a homeless encampment so I could steal some money and earn my next achievement. Okay, so here I'm in this place called Soda Dopa. And I need to find all of the loot in this location for an achievement. So we're going to find this painting here. I just beat up a bunch of homeless people. And now I got to take all of their stuff. Kind of messed up you know, a little bit, not going to lie. But I'm going to find all this stuff I'm like a goddamn police dog. I'm going to sniff it out. And I'm taking all of it. What do you got in here, huh? Fuck, I'll even take your goddamn used underwear. Nothing's escaping the goddamn paws of justice. There's stuff I'm missing. Oh, wait, there's one right here. Oh, my God, I'm blind. There's literally three right here. This goddamn the coins are blending in. I see another one here by the box. Oh, another one right here. Oh, that's it. Pick yourself up by your bootstrap. Collect all the loot in the homeless camp at Soda Sopa. Dude, this reminds me of those little kid games you'd play, like Freddy Fish or the Putt-Putt Car Game, where, like, you, you can't figure something out, but every time you come back, there seems to be more stuff that you didn't, that you missed the first time. That's what I was feeling right now. And I just robbed the homeless people after evicting them from the outside. I'm rich. With a pocket full of change, it was time to make my way to Professor Chaos so I could finish up my second day in South Park. And I noticed that every villain in the game is nerdier than the last but that just makes it easier to dust them up i kill him here here we go the general must die come here, come here. not only did i destroy the general but i made sure to take down every one of professor chaos's hired goons which ultimately led me directly to the professor himself and in controversial fashion he's in a megazord from the power rangers that's made out of mexican dudes excluding the occasional red flavored golden shower this fight consisted of dumpstering all over the super megazard and then doing it all over again after it shed some of its excess armor and entered the next phase but this did lead to a story related achievement for beating Professor Chaos. Yeah, anyway, nice to have you okay. Achievement unlocked. Chaos controlled. Foiled the plans of Professor Chaos. On one side, I feel like I'm helping people. That these farts will cure the nation's hatred. But on the other side, I feel powerful. Farting on people's heads. I'm taking them down. <laughs> Not only had I completed day two and defeated Professor Chaos, I also had a new superhero nickname to match. I'm the, I'm the Christian Revenger. So I'm gonna go, I think there's an achievement over here where we gotta get on top of this place where the homeless people were bumming around. All right, let's see if we can use fart core to get up here. Fart core, fart core. Here we go. Climb aboard, brother. Climb up here. I see a cat. Oh, big gay blossom mission item, W. Fart core, fart core, let's go. Is that the top? Do we gotta go back down? Alright, let's fart core back down, brother. Oh, there's a ninja! Sheesh! Achievement unlocked. The divine wind. No, oh, leave me alone! <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Eat this! Shortly after this, I learned some troubling news about the cat ass conspiracy that was plaguing the town. We now know for a fact that Scrambles the Missing Cat is part of a larger conspiracy. We also know that the fucking Freedom Pals have more information about this conspiracy than we do. Fact. In order to put out the hope that is the Freedom Pals, it's decided that I'll be pretending to switch sides so I can infiltrate their ranks and destroy them from within. Which honestly, doesn't sound like a good plan when they literally have a guy that can read minds on their team. But apparently that doesn't even matter, and they send me on an important mission with Tupperware and Tweak. 
but it just ends up being entertaining old folks at the retirement home. The Freedom Pals are so goddamn lame. Because of how boring the Freedom Dusters are, I decided it was time to take a break from their antics and go for the corporate wolf achievement. Unlocking this is going to require leveling up my economic stat and learning the correct ways to invest money. Just the guy's like, so and gone. For you? Well, that's correct. I set up an LLC for you, which we can use to fund a money market account co-signed by your friend here, whose house we can put a lien on to an overseas investment and it's gone. <laughs> oh my God. What's gone? Your friend's house, it's gone. Just like regular investing, if I wanna make it up to the top 0.01% of investors, I need to spin the wheel of economic freedoms and hope I land on the big money so I can move up the economic ladder. If at any point I mismanage my investments, it could end up in bankruptcy. Oh, I'm actually a bot. What did I just do? What, am I, what the fuck was that, dude? Why did I do that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I went bankrupt and went down a level. Oh, that's how it works. I didn't even notice. Oh my god. I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable. And nothing out here except me because I'm comfortable. Let's go. Okay. 35k. Oh, that's shocked. We gotta just spin, bro. Alright. Whatever you do, don't land on 2008. Don't land on 2008. Don't land on 2008. Yeah, let's go! 2007! Come on, give me some good. One shot, no whammies. Ooh, avoided bankruptcy. Thank God, taxpayers holding the bag there. Appreciate you guys. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, oh my God. Spin it! No bankrupts, no bankrupts! Ah. Let's go! Whoa, let's go! I'm rich! Corporate Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street! down. Let's go. Oh, now that I was a wealthy top percenter, I wanted to upgrade my physical stature to match. Doing this earned me an achievement for having an item level of over 600. That wasn't the only upgrade I was going to get right now. I also unlocked my final combat class, a full team res. Are you serious? Well, I'm definitely going plant mancer. I'll tell you that much. I got one abilities from three of these things. I like this one a lot, to be honest. Charm one of the enemies. Really strong. Let's use this for now. Master class. Equip powers from four different classes. W. Okay. With my new powers unlocked, I was ready to begin the second night of the game. And with the stakes higher than they had ever been, the Kunin friends decided to put their differences aside and work with the Freedom Pals. We were going to need all the help we could get since it was time to take on a bunch of cops that were high on cat excrement. This comes at a great time since I can finally earn the achievement for using every ally's ultimate power. Okay, so if Mysterion uses his alt here, I think this might be the last character I need to do this with. All right, Mysterion. He's gonna kill him with this sacrifice self to damage enemies okay so oh there's the achievement the orgy of power okay well, i cannot show you that <laughs> what in the hell oh my god dude wait he's back he's a ghost oh this is crazy the achievements were coming in fast but i had to stay focused if i wanted to rescue scrambles the cat when i finally tracked down detective yates it became clear to me that he knew i was coming for him because he forced me to fight one of the most infamous prisoners in all of south park he's still looking good. oh my god <laughs> oh my god no he's gonna get us with the footlong Want some candy? Oh, fuck, it's Jared. This was actually a really tough fight because Jared not only has AIDS, as in he has people aiding him in the fight, he also has the ability to fogle a kid to death in literally three thrusts. I had to use the power of friendships and knockbacks just to put this guy back in the oven he crawled out of. With Jared defeated, I used my gaseous powers to interrogate him, and he tells me that all the prisoners get taken down to the basement, never to return. It turns out Jared wasn't lying. In the basement of the police precinct, I found a call of Cthulhu worshipping racists, and to stop them, I needed to defeat, uh, let's just call it the tentacle boss. In order to kill this boss, I need to feed it white meat. Okay, what the fuck? If I can make sure there is a cultist in the red tiles, the boss will swipe them up and take a huge chunk of damage. This was a really long fight, but with some Colonel Sanders level of determination, I was able to get the boss to literally explode into a million pieces. And that means it's achievement time. We did it, dude! We did it! Awesome. Okay. Achievement unlocked and enter racism. Whoa, whoa, 
It's wait. done. In the wake of such a monstrous night, it's revealed that there is a plan to unite the Kunin friends and the Freedom Pals in a massive cinematic universe, which means we won't have to fight one another anymore. And this also means I can get the achievement for acquiring my final summon. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Classy's burner, consumable. Summon unlocked. There we go. Friend finder. Acquired and unlocked all the summons. W. Okay. I don't even remember what the rest of them were, but we got this one. It's safe to say I'm in the end game now, and I was about to start the final few missions, but I had some stuff I needed to clean up first. I started by crafting the chocolate memberito, since doing so will allow me to unlock the third of four time farts that's needed for the achievement I mentioned earlier. Now that I was fully cheeked up on a Tuesday night, I went with my friends to the South Park Genetic Engineering Laboratory, which is definitely not a scary lab where they grow asses on stuff, right? Dude, there is no goddamn way this is real. Well, anyways, this is when the true villain of the game begins an ass heist of epic proportions, and I'm left wondering why the world even needs this many asses. I feel I should mention that my test subjects have a crazed hunger for human flesh. Might have something to do with the ass adding process. Brother, why is that even a thing? Like Craig said, what does this have to do with science? You've gone mad, man. You've gone mad. I thought things couldn't get worse than the many-assed cats, but they don't hold a candle to the many-assed bullies. These creatures are abominations of science, and I don't even want to acknowledge them. It wasn't just the many-assed creatures that were a problem. I had to make an executive decision, and that involved either taking off my dad's head or taking off my mom's arm. The arm does make a lot of sense, to be honest. I think we should probably take one last selfie with mom and her arm. Put a little fun filter on it too. A little cotton candy filter. Me and mom, last moment where she could still high five me with two hands at the same time. Say cheese. Just give me your arm, yeah? No, 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 sweetie. We talked about this. Sorry, mom. No, no sweetie. No, you're mommy. Jesus, mom. Sim her down. I need this. One more selfie, maybe? Me and mom, last moments together. Say, I can still count to five. Now for the big reveal. The person that was pulling the strings all along was the coon. Kinda. This doesn't make any sense, but Mitch Connors, aka The Hand, is a sentient being that fully exists and is a total dick. And to remain on brand, he created a genetically modified super nerd that's gonna try to kill us. Now besides the fact that this kid is absolutely disgusting, I can use this moment to earn a few achievements. You can't beat this thing! We have to hold off until daytime! His skin can't handle the sun! How are we gonna last till daytime? I don't know, but we have to try! Wait! I can now fart us into the future! Oh. Achievement unlocked, fully bloated. Unlocked all combat time farts. I did it! Let it loose! Boom! Oh my god. A fart so strong, it was heard for days to come. And mutant cousin Kyle has been absolutely vaporized. Because of my uber noxious ass ripping that I used to defeat mutant cousin Kyle, I farted us into the future. And our only hope at stopping Mitch Connor is to fart us back into the past. Now, I time farted us into a few different timelines before I got it right. But let's just say I fought alongside Santa in one of the timelines and then even went back into my own past and fought myself from the beginning of the game. I wasn't exactly accurate when it came to Doc Browning myself through reality. I eventually landed in the correct timeline. And to set everything right, I need to put down Mitch Connor before he literally takes over every hand in South Park. And even though Mitch Connor can control multiple hands at once, I had to show him that not everyone's hands were up for grabs. I will finish you with a punch to the balls, Kyle. Or Mitch. There you go. Mm, smack him. Like a parent when you grab something you're not supposed to. You win victory. Achievement unlocked through the bowels of time. Survived the farts of future past. I've defeated Mitch Connor. There's only one truth in this life, my kid. No matter how hard you try to change the past, your dad will always fuck you up. No! <laughs> this can't be true. Achievement unlocked. The token experience. Created a black character and beat the game on Mastermind. <laughs> oh my god, fart in this lady's face. 
Now it was time to do some cleanup, and thankfully, this game makes it easy since there were only two kinds of collectibles, and both were obtainable after beating the game. The first thing I needed to do was crap in every toilet in South Park, and since this was just a basic mini game, it actually didn't cause any tissues. Then I needed to collect the last of the boy lover posters, but it was only for an achievement. I swear, that's the only reason I was looking at them. Okay, so this last achievement requires me to kick the crap out of Morgan Freeman. The problem is, he won't fight me because my character's black, so I need to talk to PC Principal and declare my race as white and come out looking like a freshly minted Casper the Ghost. Then I can finally fight him. White. American. One, two, three. Here we go. Defeat Morgan Freeman. Look how much health he has. Status effects are going to be a necessary thing that we have to do. Listen no. to my heavenly voice. Don't listen to him, Jimmy. He's lying to you. No, they got him. He's going to do something bad against us. God damn it. It's over for you, Freeman. Give me my achievement and I will never come back to your taco place again. Unless you invent a new burrito quesarito. Call girl. Let's flash mob him. We're telling everyone, Operation Kick Morgan Freeman's ass. Come get him. C take pictures of him. We've Maybe I'll leave the destroyed him. Shop to you, in my will. you win. Morgan Freeman has been absolutely annihilated. Now, where's my achievement? There we go. Farts over for Reckles. Picked a fight with Morgan Freeman and defeated him. And that's it. I finally completed South Park The Fractured But Whole. And I have to say, it was pretty controversial. And if you want to see the time I completed South Park The Stick of Truth, click right here on the screen. See you guys in the next one.